welcome back to Krista and C. Burrell. I'm Krista and I make vegan recipe and lifestyle videos along with DIYs here and there. So if that's something you're into, consider liking this video and subscribing so you could be part of the high life. So this year is my two year anniversary of transitioning into a vegan plant-based lifestyle. So some of you guys may or may not know, um, Last year I posted a video of it being my one year anniversary on Thanksgiving and I asked everyone to wear red which I'm actually probably going to ask again because I'm just going to make it a tradition. But so last year um, or two years ago I decided after Thanksgiving that it was time for me to make a change and um, live a life that coincided with my ethics and belief. And turning towards a vegan lifestyle and diet was something that really resonated with me because, you know, I, I love animals. I'm not a cruel person. I don't really like cruel. I'm like try as much to like reduce my negative impact in the world as much as possible or and I just kind of wanted to practice what I preach. So turning towards a vegan lifestyle is what um, I decided to do. And this lifestyle basically resonated with me because it's basically the golden rule. Treat people the way that you want to be treated. You know, I wouldn't want to be killed and slaughtered for um, for my meat or I wouldn't want to be impregnated and raped um, just for my milk. I mean, I barely even know if I like children, so... Yeah, not to say I don't like um, Ryan's chop, um, not to say that I don't like Kiana, I do. I'm just not ready to be a parent, but you know, I'm getting better. Me and her are getting along. <laughs> I'm starting to get along with a five-year-old, guys. What the fuck is wrong with me? Um, I made some notes because I would forget <laughs> what I'm saying. So, for a long time, literally for as long as I could remember, I have been watching documentaries like on and off all the time whether they're conspiracy theories whether it's about the agriculture ancient aliens all this stuff but most of them revolved around um animals and the planet so i've low-key been like i unconsciously i've been like um brainwashing myself to believe certain things so that's why i think so differently than everyone but i seriously watched like after watching what the hell forks over knives earthlings and things like that i was just like girl you need to make a change because you're not doing any good in this world like you say you want to like change the world and things like that and you're still just being a bystander like everyone else so i was like you know what? cut the shit chris and do your shit do something make a change practice what you preach and then people will follow because you know if you make it look easy people will want to do it so Literally, Earthlings was the last video, last documentary I really watched before I was like, hmm, let's stop this. Like, this is not right. Like, I was like, how could I, after watching that documentary, I'll link that below for you guys because it is an amazing documentary. There's a lot of people in it, um, but I was after i watched it i cried and i like i still cry to this day when i watch that documentary and it's just like we are seriously so conditioned and blind to all the atrocities happening around the world um and even when we're told what's happening we continue to support it and let it happen so i was just like i don't want to do that anymore like I don't want to be a contra walking contradiction. I want to make a change and I want to, and that change has to start with myself. So I decided to see how long I could go vegan and it wasn't easy. Like it wasn't for a year and a half. I was a completely strict vegan. Like I didn't, nothing was, had to be touching. Nothing could be cross contaminated. I wouldn't buy anything that wasn't vegan. Um, and the eating part wasn't the hard part. It was literally having to do with family and friends who lived a different lifestyle than I did or who didn't and or people that just didn't see eye to eye with how, what I was trying to do with my life. And to this day, I'm still struggling with that because it's still kind of new to some people like veganism and just not consuming animals or just not letting 
um, consuming animals or just using any type of animal byproduct in their life, whether that's in their um, daily lives, whether that comes to consuming food, using it as um, shelter, like things to put on your body to keep you warm. Um, it's in everything. It's in our, in your blankets, your coats. Um, it's amazing what we let happen. And like for us to think that we could have all those types of luxuries and not think that that has any effect on other living beings. That's crazy to me. And like I, I did that too until I watched that documentary. I was like, what the is wrong with me like I I love this stuff because it's warm it's soft it tastes good all this stuff but really that's selfish of me like why am I doing that so I decided to make a change and that's what happened and because other people are so used to living the way we've always been living they don't see that and they don't understand that there's like a disconnect between that stuff um, it's crazy. It really is crazy. But you know, I'm still working on myself. It's been two years and within the last six years or last six months, I like kind of let myself go. Like I let myself kind of explore a little bit in, in order for me to find balance between all of it and make connections that I need to make to properly make this become a lifestyle that sticks. So within the last six months, I let myself eat dairy um, more often than not you guys see that I eat pizza all the time I eat baked goods all the time from like work and things like that the baked goods that I make are vegan but when I'm eating outside of work um, when it comes to baked goods or anything like that like chocolate you know those will usually have milk in it and I allow myself to eat that um, but because it's in such small quantities I um, justified that I also have consumed eggs because, you know, baked goods and sometimes it's in fried rice and it's such a hassle for me to just pick them out. So I eat eggs sometimes, I consumed fish, um, I even went fishing and crabbing and I've even had food like actual meat, like animal meat, like chicken, pork, chicken, pig and um, cow. Like I've had like, had it enough times to probably count on my hands but it's not very big like literally it's probably like the size of my thumb like each piece but it's when I do that it was because I was it's like I'm trying to figure I'm like trying to see it I'm just tasting it kind of thing like I know I don't have to taste it with that but like I'm also testing myself to see like do you still like that does it gross you out do you like the flavor? Do you like the texture? Things like that. And I'm like learning a lot of stuff about myself because I'm allowing myself to explore and allow myself grace. So yeah. Next video, I'll tell you guys about how, um, what I've learned about being vegan on a longer note, but there's a lot of things I've learned about being vegan. Like you really do learn about yourself. You learn you learn to test your limits like you are trying to figure out what's right from wrong like there's a couple days ago yesterday we caught a mouse in a mouse trap i told ryan not to put it in to use one of the snapping mouse traps because then it, at least it doesn't suffer but instead he got the sticky pads yesterday i cried in the morning because i saw one uh, it was the trap that i even put out and i saw it just like squirming there and i couldn't get myself to like hit it to put it out of its misery or even like throw it away like i i couldn't i couldn't get myself to do it so i had to tell ryan i was like hey you caught a mouse go do something with it because i can't do it and then i've learned that my taste buds have changed and the textures that i like and things like that it's different like i yeah i'll get i'll get into all this stuff later but like i've noticed like the texture the texture and taste are different so my taste buds have changed i've noticed that you need to have a good support group or you need to engulf yourself into that type of community that you're going that you're getting into like if you want to live a more ethically lifestyle you need to surround yourself with those type of people who have the same interests because those people are the ones that are going to continue helping encouraging you to continue on your path unlike other people 
I'm not gonna say names, but there are other people who are like, why? It's not a big deal. Like when it comes to like eating food and stuff like that, it's just like, why? It's not a big deal. Just eat it. It's just chicken. And it's like, it's not just chicken. If you knew where that came from, if you knew what that really was and what they went through, that you're eating a like week old baby that looks like it got fucking built up, then like you would understand like it's not just that. Um, I've also noticed that the days that I do consume not when I do consume animal byproducts and put that into my body I do notice those are the days that I actually get sick like that's when I have my worst allergies that's when I'm always sniffling and I notice my immune system is lower I've also noticed within just one year of me transitioning into this lifestyle there are are a lot of alternatives now and not just like a lot there's a lot better alternatives when I first started like those life whatever life fair life whatever life house or whatever um hot dogs when I first had that that tasted up like straight up plastic it was gross um, and then I had them again um, over the summer because my sister had bought them um, my sister bought them for me for a potluck that we had outside. Um, she bought them for me and I tried it and I was like, actually this does taste like a regular hot dog now. Like just those regular like hot dogs that you, Hebrew hot dogs that you get at the store. So like I was like, these actually aren't good and normally I would get the tofurkey Italian sausage. And Annie is actually the one who told me to get those so thank you Annie for putting me on those. And within just the last year the texture and taste of that alone has it is on point now and you have to understand like my taste and things like that are a little bit different than if you were a meat eater so this might be different for you Ryan likes them though um, and then also beyond meat that is delicious I've also learned you could still get fat you could still gain weight like I had to go to a point where I was just I went through a point where I even calorie counted. So I'll talk more about that in my thing. Um, and then I found that you also get more creative with your food. Like there's things that you never would have like thought about doing. Like that cashew sauce for that I always try, that is delicious. I make it all the time. And then you ha also learn how to compromise. Like, yeah. But this coming year is gonna be um, a different year for me. This year is still gonna be learning about growing and stuff like that, but I want to implement an 80-20 rule. So 80% of the year I'm gonna be eating completely vegan, plant-based, and then allow myself, that 20% is to allow myself grace, you know, so I don't beat myself up about it. And hopefully over the years, I'll get to 100%. Um, and then, yeah, I'm, I also want to try living more minimally now so this year is gonna be very different or it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of changes for me still so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video my battery is about to die it's telling me I've talked way too much 16 minutes over so if you guys um, are vegan interested in being vegan transitioning vegan just like me i hope you guys consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel because that's basically what my channel is about is my journey being vegan so i'll see you guys next week i'll be posting that pumpkin twist video hopefully saturday or maybe next week but i'll see you guys again next time and yeah i hope you guys all make conscious decisions that's a hard word conscious de decisions i hope you guys all make conscious decisions to live a more ethically um, based life and a life that coincides with your ethics and beliefs and again I'll see you next time bye